not everybody is for you. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you seven things your competitors hope you never do. A lot of times success in real estate comes down to doing the basics, doing the things that you know you should do and doing them consistently. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take a little spin on this and talk to you about the seven things that your competitors hope you don't do because when you don't do those, it benefits them. The first thing they hope you don't do is, is keep in touch with your past clients. One of the biggest mistakes that most agents make is, is that they have a transaction and then they move on to the next transaction and they don't build relationship with those previous customers. Typically, when you see a mature business, a business that's thriving in real estate, it is built on the fact that it is built on referrals and on repeat customers. If you don't nurture those relationships, those relationships don't have the opportunity to then bear more fruit into the future by referrals or repeat business. The statistics don't lie. We've heard it many times from the National Association of Realtors survey. They state that when asked at the time of closing, would you let the person who sold you the home, your buyer's agent, list your home when you get ready to sell it? Over 90% of the people say yes. And the reality though, the time comes when they do list the home, just a very small percentage, under 25%, end up listing their home with that previous agent. The reason being is, is that people don't keep in touch with their past clients. Take the time, make sure, put it to them a little bit by making sure that you keep in touch with your past clients and I promise your business can't help but grow. The second thing they hope you don't do is, is to optimize your Google My Business page. Google My Business is the place where you can have a free page set up that when people go to Google and they search your name or they search for realtors in a certain area, you have the ability to pop up and to frame what they see. Google is the number one search engine in the world. There's a reason for that. This is where people utilize, they utilize this platform to be able to find the people and the services that they want. By optimizing your Google My Business page, by putting a number of photos in, we like to have a hundred photos in there. By having someone that does, that you have your reviews on there. By having information about your community on there. By having content that shows that you're the expert in the area, it sets you apart so that as clients come to town or people are searching for you, they have it framed in a way that shows you as the expert. Your competitors are hoping you don't do this because as long as you're not seen as the expert and you're not easily found on search in search criteria, then that gives them more of an opportunity to grow their business. Don't give them that opportunity. Make sure you optimize your Google My Business and your business will grow. The third thing they hope you won't do is, is to produce more video content. You see what video does is it gives people the opportunity to understand who you are. We say it all the time, a picture is worth a thousand words and a video is worth a million words. What it also does is it acts as a filter and those clients that are supposed to work with you, they're like, that's my person. That's the person I want to do business with. When you don't do video content, it gives your competitors an opportunity to show more of themselves and people can't find you as easily. Make sure you're taking advantage of the opportunity that video presents and doing more video in the coming year. The fourth thing your competitors hope that you don't do is to show your clients appreciation. We understand that people do business with people they know, like, and trust. One of the ways that we, they like us is, is that we, they know they're appreciated. It also puts into effect this law of reciprocity where when we do something for someone, the law of reciprocity states that they in turn want to do something for us. That comes in the form of additional business or referrals. The competitors that you have are hoping that you don't show your clients appreciation because that gives them the opportunity to then have the opportunity for them to get that business instead of that business being referred to you. Make sure you're out there and you're showing your clients appreciation. They feel appreciated, I promise. They'll in turn send you more that you can be appreciative of. The fifth thing your competitions hopes you never do is to host open houses. They understand that open houses are the best way for you to get nose to nose and toes to toes with potential buyers and also with those nosy neighbors that are potential sellers. Open houses give you the opportunity to really spend time with the people that are actively out there pursuing or looking to buy a house, which gives you an opportunity to build a relationship and then provide your services. Also, hosting an open house shows the people in that neighborhood that you're an expert in that neighborhood. Those nosy neighbors that come by, odds are they're considering selling their house or they're curious about how their house's value compares to the one that is getting ready to be sold. So make sure you're out there hosting those open houses. It's a great way to make initial contact as well as to have the opportunity opportunity to generate more buyers and more seller opportunities. The sixth thing your competitors hope you don't do is to farm or geographically farm a neighborhood or area. By farming, it gives you the 
opportunity to add consistent value to an area where you become known as the expert. The last thing your competition wants is for you to be known as the expert in an area because it makes it harder for them to do business. Farming a neighborhood is basic and fundamental to growing your real estate business. Find an area specifically that gives you the opportunity that you enjoy being a part of or that maybe you live in or maybe that you aspire to live in or maybe it's an area that you own investment properties in. Find an area, become that expert through geographical farming and I promise your business and your listing opportunities will continue to grow. The seventh thing that your competitors don't want you to do is to get a coach or join a mastermind. They understand the fact that really when you have someone that gives you an outside view of what's going on, you operate better. I want to use a little bit of a, an analogy here. Imagine what's the first thing that happens when someone goes to war. The first thing that the enemy tries to do is to knock out all communications. They try to knock out all the communications because what they want is they want the person that's on the battlefield to not have the eyes in the sky, so to speak, somebody that can see the entire battlefield and they can tell them where there's opportunity or tell them where there's danger. They want that person to just be on their own making decisions based on only what they see and what they understand. A coach gives you the ability to see the entire opportunity that's out there in your business. A mastermind gives you the ability to hear what's going on with other people in other markets that are sharing what they're doing that's successful to serve their clients better. The last thing your competition wants you to have is somebody that's giving you insight that maybe you can't find on your own. Hiring a coach, joining a mastermind, those are steps that can really help your business grow. Frank Sinatra says it this way, the best revenge is massive success. Go out, take advantage of the opportunities you have. Make sure you do the fundamental things that we've talked about in this video, and I promise your business is not only going to grow, but it's going to flourish in any market environment. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.